Howdy folks, it's a tall turtle here, and here's another update video on the 1.13 texture pack that I'm creating. It's an add-on texture pack designed to sit on top of the Redcraft Smooth Realism texture pack that I've ported over 1.13 myself. I think that the Redcraft texture pack has been abandoned. There have been no new blocks since 1.11, and I've been in contact with them, asking them about 1.13, and if I can port it over, and if I can share that port over and they haven't responded in many 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 months so i've poured it over myself i want to share it with you all but i need the permission first i can obviously share my 1.13 add-on because it's mine but i can't share the redcraft version yet so anyway that's what i'm doing if you haven't watched the previous three videos on this add-on texture pack i'm creating please watch those because there's a lot more detail on what i'm doing and why i'm doing it and everything and i talk more about that Redcraft texture pack and my add-on. But otherwise, that's a quick introduction for those of you who aren't familiar with what's going on yet. Again, please watch those other three videos to so get more detail. In the meantime, I just want to share with you what I've done since the last video. I've done a few things, and they took a long time, so it's not going to look like a whole lot. It's going to be a really quick video, but it took a lot of work. So let's get started after I clear up this weather. So the biggest thing I did is I finished the flowers. There were quite a few flowers that Redcraft had done already but I finished them. Um, they were the more complicated flowers, like double block high and having them line things up and everything. So let's hop over here, because I figured since it's placing on flowers, why not find the flowers in the natural habitat? So this is a flower forest. If you turn on the debug, you can see flower forest. I didn't realize they existed until I was flying around looking for flowers. So we're in a flower biome in a forest. So flower forest it is. So anyway, let's hop down here. Rough landing there. Um, some of these were already done by Redcraft. All the tulips and all the colors were done by Redcraft, and the purple ones were done by Redcraft. There's another tulip. But what I've done is I have done um, the lilacs, which I used this plant for, and the peonies, which I used that plant for, and rose bushes, which that's a real rose bush. And what else did I do? I did the poppies here. So the purple is a peony, the rose bush is a rose bush. The pink one is the lilac, lilac, and this red one is the poppy. I also did the azure blue, or azure blue, I don't even know how to say it. I would imagine it's blue, but not necessarily. I just have to find some here. Oh, there's one down there. Where's more? Here we go. There's a bunch more over here by these cows. So let's hop down here. Clunk. Here's the azure blue, which looks kind of funny, but it looks way more like the real plant than the default textures. So anyway, I think they fit in with what was already done by Redcraft. Um, again, photorealistic, photos of real plants. And that, as simple as it sounds, is the flower set that I finished. Might not seem like a big deal, but it was a lot of work and a lot of fun, and I'm pretty proud of how they turned out. We do have to talk about nether wart, and I have some nether wart growing in different stages back in my spawn area. So that is where I'm going to head now. I can't figure out teleporting in pre-6. This is 113 pre-6. They changed it a little bit. So I have to manually find my spawn area. And when I do, I'll jump right back to you and we'll talk about another wart. All right, somehow I found my spawn area again, which is nice. It's nowhere near the spawn coordinates. I must move a little bit. But anyway, we're back. I found it. And I've got another wart, another wart down here growing on some soul sand. And... Um, I think all three stages are represented. So there's the block, by the way, which looks like um, an old quilt or something. So let's just get rid of that. I, I never, I'm never going to use that anyway. But anyway, here's stage zero when you plant the nether wart. And then there's stage one when it starts to grow. Let me turn that off. And then stage two right up here when it's all full. So again, simple. There's another wart. I think it looks more like a plant you'd use for something like potions. I can never, ever stand the default another wart so I'm glad I came up with something otherwise that's that next one is a big one though the next one we have to go to a different world because it is the coral reef that I decided to do after all all right and we're back and we're walking backwards so this is a coral reef what I did is I started a new creative world and I um, used the buffet feature there's new buffet feature we can select your biomes I just selected warm ocean because I couldn't find a coral reef in my test world. I'm pointing out this ship because when I spawned in this test world, I spawned inside this ship between a bunch of pieces of wood. And it was quite challenging because I couldn't see what I was doing. But anyway, I got out. So this coral reef, 
Now the wood, of course, is Redcraft, but um, all the coral stuff is mine. Now you'll first notice right away that I did not do the seagrass and I did not do the kelp. And I did that on purpose. I actually, believe it or not, I like the seagrass and the kelp. You actually can't see any kelp. I'll go find some in a minute. But I really like the seagrass the way it is. So I don't think I'm going to change that. I think I'm going to leave the seagrass and the kelp the way they are. Um, it is more pixelated, of course, because low resolution. But because it's moving, I think it's fine. And it kind of ties in a little bit of the original Minecraft feel. Um, I am a fan of the default textures, by the way. It's just they trigger migraines. I'm not joking. I don't know why, but the default textures trigger migraines. So that's why I'm using the texture pack in case you're wondering. So anyway, oh, there's a little drown down there. Hi guys, how are you? Anyway, so yes, I already said, let's see here. Seagrass is gonna stay, kelp is gonna stay, but all, everything else you see is mine. So the fire coral is the orange stuff, of course. I'm not gonna get too close, because too close is too much of a good thing. So fire coral is mine, well it's all mine. The white stuff is supposed to be blue, but for some reason, it was blue in my editor, but Minecraft sees it as whitish, so I might have to redo that, or I might leave it, because the purple, you know, purple has some blue in it, pink has some blue in it, and the orangish has red and yellow in it. There's yellow. So the, even though the blue turned out to be kind of white, I don't think it's that bad, so I might leave it. We'll have to see how I feel. Otherwise, all the coral is represented here, as well as sea pickles. Here is a sea pickle right there. I did the sea pickles too. Come on, come down please. They actually provide light. That's why the coral reef is lit up, if you weren't aware of that. I want to get my sea pick. Give me a sea pickle. Oh, it destroyed all of them. I was not going to pick them up in creative anymore. I thought I could still pick up items in creative. I guess not. But you can see how dark it got now. So anyway, the coral reef, it's all my stuff. I'm very proud of it. I did all the fan coral. The regular coral, the coral blocks, everything except seagrass and kelp, like I said, because um, I, I like the seagrass and kelp. So otherwise, that's all I have to say about that. I'm looking for some kelp for you, so you can see the default. But I guess it's default, you already know what kelp looks like. But kelp doesn't seem to exist in a warm ocean. It seems to just be the seagrass and some other animals. Oh, there's a school of fish, which I haven't done any mobs. I'm not going to do any mobs. Some of them are done by Redcraft. I'm just going to keep those, of course, because they're beautiful. But I'm not going to do any of my own. Anyway, let's quickly swim here, which you don't really swim in creative. You just kind of move quickly. Otherwise, that is it. I've That's all I've done so far. Well, I shouldn't say all. That took me a long time to do all these things. But I'm really proud of them. I don't think I'm going to do more. So things I haven't done, like I said, haven't done the kelp and the seagrass. I haven't done the prismarine I was going to, but the prismarine is okay. Um, I might do what I did for the purper, where I just take the default texture and just make it higher resolution, like I did for the purper. I might do that. Otherwise, the prismarine, I'm going to leave. Um, the items, I'm not really going to change many of the items where you hold something, because that's a different texture, different PNG, different file. Because you only see those items very briefly in your hand, and you don't really look at your hand. So I'm not going to worry too much about the items so much. I'm not going to worry about any of the mobs. I like the mobs the way they are. Otherwise, so that's pretty much it. So only update, only future thing I might do is just higher resolution for the prison green blocks. That might be it, and I'm not going to do an update video just for that. Otherwise, I'm enjoying the core reef for walking backwards and all the lit, lit up stuff. So that is the update, the final update. Next videos you'll see from me is a 113 single player world as soon as 113 is final, and then the big, the big one that's going to be the Paul Source Jr. Survivor Craft, we're calling it. I think that's what we're calling it. At least that's what he's calling it. That'll be its own series as well, multiplayer on the Survivor Craft, Survivor Craft, Paul Source Jr. Patreon server. That's what we're all waiting for. There's like 167 of us waiting for 113 to drop. So um, as soon as 113 drops, you'll see two new series from me on this channel. Otherwise, I'm going to keep walking backwards here and enjoy this core reef for a moment because who knows when it'll be until I see another one. And I'll catch you then.